Hey guys, I'm back with just a quick uh, tutorial. Um, this is a picture I did, and I'm sure you got uh, many pictures you guys have done. And every now and then you, you get a cool one, you're like, you know, I want to make that a uh, background on my computer. Um, now Mac and Windows with separate applications, it's not built right into Windows, uh, they have things called dynamic backgrounds. And what it does is it'll change throughout the day and usually it'll change by color is the way to do it uh, throughout the day based on the time you'll kind of have a similar uh, color so let me just show you my backdrop now uh, this is my dynamic desktop and uh, right now it's like this orange and throughout the day it's like every two hours or so I have it set up that um, you know, look how kind of change. So the biggest thing with the dynamic desktops is I was looking everywhere. I wanted to do one out of this image. I could not find a free way to do it. Everybody's was, if it was free, it had a big watermark on it. And some of the other ones to buy that were like good, uh, you know, good exports and full size and all that. Um, man, they were like 23 bucks. And I was just like, you know, so I looked everywhere, I found a way to do it. I'm gonna show you real quick. Uh, let's just get right into this. You bring your artwork up, and basically what you're gonna wanna do is we're gonna put some adjustment layers on it. The way you get these adjustment layers is by clicking uh, right here on the adjustments, and uh, we're gonna go with uh, the HLS is the main one that's gonna give you your images. So let's double click this real quick. And what this does is it just kind of shifts all of your colors over. So you're going to put an HLS slider on it. And basically, you can either do 24 if you want it to change every hour, or what I did was 12. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to render out 12 different images in approximation to you know the times of day and you're you know you can kind of bring your um, your sun down you know this would be like more night so uh let me just bring this up so let me show you what i did uh you're gonna do that and you're gonna go file save or file export and you're gonna save out 12 different pictures so here are mine okay so that's all of them then, the way you're gonna do it is not with an app. We are gonna to go to a website. This website is called dynamicpaper.club. So I'm already signed in. You're gonna to have to log in and uh, make a new account. Uh, but once you go to your account, he here's the one I already did, but I'm gonna create it again just to show you. You're gonna hit create. And we're gonna take all of those images. Uh, we're gonna select all 12 or 24 if you did 24. And we're going to drag them in here. Uh, we'll name it space. And you can put in whatever tags. That's just for people to find it. Uh, now you can... I just do the um, the time one. The sun one's a little different. Uh, but feel free to play around with this. Uh, you can put your times in. Or you can just do this suggest times. And it will, uh, just based on the darkness, it'll kind of put in what it thinks is best. Uh, click, you know, you are the author. And these are still loading in. But once these load in, you're going to be able to hit that create button. And then, uh, that will show up here. When you hover over it, it'll give you uh, just a quick thing and then you can download it. It is going to download a .heic file. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do with that is in a Mac, you're gonna to wanna to go to your system preferences, you're gonna to wanna to go to your desktop, and you're gonna to wanna to take that and drop that in. Now the only issue is even though you drop it in, it's still gonna show the little desert thing, the HI or HEIC files. Uh, they don't have previews for some reason, but it will work and it's really cool. Like every hour or two, it'll change and you know, different times it'll kind of reflect different things. So that's how you do that. With Windows, again, if, you, if you're on a Windows, go ahead and look. There's, um, there's a couple free apps that'll do this. Uh, if you wanna download this one, 
Uh, you can either go to this dynamic uh, wallpaper.club and search uh, space or astronaut, it'll pop right up. Or I'm gonna put a link in the, in the uh, description. I have a uh, gum road that I'm gonna be starting that I'm gonna put up uh, all my, uh, just got a free stuff that way. Uh, anybody who wants stuff can get it. So I just wanted to keep that quick, a little five minute tutorial and uh, you know, I'll be back.